What's up, nerds? We are your hosts. I am Jake. And I'm Chad. This week, we are sponsored by Ray's Energy Drinks. We are also sponsored by Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. This week, we will be talking about the first episode of She-Hulk, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. And then we'll finish out the episode by talking about the House of the Dragon, or House of the Dragon, sorry, now streaming on HBO Max. So, let's get into it. This is the All Things Nerd Podcast. Nerd. Welcome back, nerds, to the All Things Nerd Podcast, your weekly dive into all things nerd. Uh, hmm. Chadley, how was your week? Well, it had seven days in it. No, <laughs> no it was... Pretty good. It's consistent, at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, your birthday party was on Saturday. Was on Saturday. You were there. I, I was remember. there. Yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> you were pretty sloshed. <laughs> oh, it was bad. It was real bad. Uh, him but it was fun. His, we had a good time. Him and his cousin-in-law, who was also a police officer, were it's just... No? Eh, I'm not going to say his name. Yeah. yeah, you're good pressured me to drink in excess when they knew I was driving home. I made sure that I used Jake's uh, at-home breathalyzer before I it's left. My, it's Don't my worry. penis. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sad for you because I blew a .07. <laughs> Micro penis! Get. <laughs> wiener, wiener, wiener. Wiener. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that joke will be funny in a little bit here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it will. Uh, what about you, Jake? How was your uh, week? It was good. I had a birthday on Saturday. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Actually, you and your cousin pressured on... someone to drink in excess. <laughs> Sorry. This one, this one, we went axe throwing, and then we came back to my house and got, I think, pretty sure everybody got pretty rowdy. Oh, yeah. I stayed, yeah. like, four extra hours to make sure I was fine to drive. Yeah. <laughs> um, played Tippy Cup I, for the first time. You've never played? That was your first time? Yeah. Well, I guess oh. I don't expect you to remember that conversation, because that was your exact reaction on Saturday, too. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, but in nerd-related things, uh, I watched... Oh, shit. I was going to grab my... I'm going to grab it anyway. Grab him and I'll tell him about the Sandman update. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, So, for those of you that have not watched the Sandman on Netflix yet, uh, all ten episodes dropped at once. Fantastic show. Um, and then, randomly, last week, they released two more episodes. Um, they're not part of the main... So well, I haven't watched both of them yet, I'm not going to lie. But one of them really isn't a huge part of the main story. It just is kind of like a side story from the, the comic realm of it. But, yeah, they released two, two new episodes. So Yeah, just pretty crazy. Cool. And then, I, watched, uh, yeah. I watched Elvis, which is awesome. What does this do? <gasps> no. It's a music box? I never knew that did this. <laughs> now I'm not going to be able to get to shut up, though. Fuck. <laughs> I'll put it over here. It's weird right. because he literally just watched that for two hours. He didn't even know that there was a movie about it yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, the movie is fantastic. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> You're going in the background. <laughs> it's fine. It'll sub eventually. Keep going. It's funny. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's super good. Um, Austin Butler, who plays Elvis, uh, he killed it, man. It was it, he did a really good job. I've seen him in other things, and I have not been overly impressed by him. Uh, but he looks like Elvis. It's pretty wild, and uh, he did a really good job. And I have to say this, and she's gonna be so embarrassed, but it was really funny. Um, <laughs> my my girlfriend does not. She likes Elvis, but she didn't know a ton about him, I guess. And there's a part in the movie where the where he's singing, 
And if any of you guys know about, I know it's still going. I don't know what to do. And uh, I can put it outside of the room. No, just keep going. <laughs> if it's but, still uh, going when we go to sponsor, then yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll move it. <laughs> but uh, there's like a part where like the girls are like pulling at his clothes and freaking out, and she's like, she's like, oh, you know, like give me a break. And I'm like, no, babe. I was like, they did that shit to him. Like he was a big deal. And you know, we won't go too much into the movie, but at, towards the end, there's like a actual video and pictures of him and there is she literally there's like a part where he walks by a camera and like winks at it and smiles and my girlfriend just goes damn and i go yeah handsome and she goes yeah i totally get why those girls are doing that now <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but it was a fantastic movie if you haven't watched it Go check it out. I won't. We won't do a deep dive on it, but really, I haven't really... watched it yet, so that's partially yeah. why. But it's a commitment. It's like two hours and like forty-five minutes or something like that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so not tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, oh, nice. Anything else? Fantastic happen this week for you? Fantastic, interesting, fun, <laughs> different. I don't think so. Am I missing something? No, I was just kidding. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Literally, under things to talk about, nothing. Nothing. I guess I've been streaming more on Twitch. So if you guys like watching gameplay, uh, follow us on Twitch. It's also the same uh, profile that we use when we do our live episodes. So Nice. Just all things nerd pod on Twitch. Yay. Woo. <laughs> well, with that being said... Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about our first sponsor here before we get into the rest of the episode. Uh, Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to until you okay. actually said that. Now you're going to do <laughs> now it? Now I want. I want to, but I won't. Uh, we're sponsored this week by Ray's Energy Drinks. They're a fantastic energy drink. Uh, zero calories, zero sugar, zero crash. Uh, and if energy drinks aren't your thing, they've got so much more to offer from protein-packed pancakes, desserts in a cup, Pre-workout, all of it. I'll give you a dessert in a cup. Why how are you going to put it in a <laughs> cup? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, listen up, learn how to save 15%. We'll be right back with you to talk about She-Hulk. <laughs> What's up, nerds? I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about Ray's Energy, an incredible energy drink that provides max energy with zero crash. Ray's Energy takes a giant leap of faith with instilling a high-quality formula to bring a powerful, yet sustained, energetic experience to help you push your workouts and focus to the next level. Perfect for anyone at any time and powered by their Refresh Formula technology, Ray's Energy delivers a performance-enhancing energy drink that aids in multiple different categories that include targeted focus, better recovery time, improved clean energy levels, and a boost in stamina and hydration. But most importantly, every can of Ray's Energy has absolutely zero calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates to give you a smarter and healthier option. So don't settle for an energy drink that contains more sugar and carbohydrates than you can count. Instead, head over to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and use the promo code nerd podcast at checkout for 15 percent off your order or if you don't know what you want go ahead and click the link that's in the description for to get a 50 dollars sample pack for free all you do is you cover the cost of shipping again make sure you use promo code nerd podcast at checkout to let them know that we sent you all right friends uh we want to talk about the first episode of she hulk now on disney plus First off, spoiler warning, spoiler alert, that's enough time. If you're still here, this is on you. If you haven't watched yet, pause, go watch it, come back. Cool. Agreed. Neat. I really enjoyed the show. I I know we're only one episode in, but I'm liking it. It was good. It was good. I wonder if uh, Banner will continue to be a presence in the show, or if, like, he was just there for kind of the the pilot mm. i hope that he at least maybe not as 
present, but yeah. is there. Well, I guess we can kick this off with she uh, there. She's on a trip with with Bruce. Uh, uh, fuck, what was the name of it? Sitar? Sakar. 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 Yeah. Ship attacks them. Their car flips into a ravine. And well, uh, first off, it's Bruce in, back in human form. Yeah. Yes. And, well, I was just going to explain how she gets the. Well, yeah. This is that's how because he's as human. Oh, so, right, right, so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleed. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they flip the car. And she gets cut on the arm. Bruce is stuck in the car. She goes to help him out. His blood gets in her blood. And she turns green, mean, and a sexy machine. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And she, like, well, kind of like it was teased in The Incredible Hulk when the dude that get some of Banner's blood, like, dropped onto his head. Mm-hmm. Like, never know what happens to him, but probably never will. Um, <laughs> but she changes into a Hulk immediately and just yeah. storms off. Yeah. That was a temper tantrum, as the Hulks do. <laughs> oh, those Hulks. <laughs> But, uh, they also tease that in uh, the same, well, same movie uh, with Edward Ed Norton, the Incredible Hulk, when his he cuts himself, and the blood drops into one of the drinks at the factory he works at, and he like oh. shuts the whole line down, and he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say this show is <clears throat> funny, but it's also very self-aware. Because mm. Jennifer Walters, She-Hulk, is known for breaking the fourth wall. Much like our boy Deadpool. Not quite as aggressive or vulgar. Dead? <laughs> ting, ting. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's fun, because it starts off... She's about to go into the courtroom... Mm-hmm. Uh, and then breaks the fourth wall because someone men- her best friend mentions that, you know, don't Hulk out or whatever. Yeah. And so She's then like, she, like, breaks the fourth wall to be like, let's go back a little bit. Yeah. And then... That's my cousin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's funny is they're eating Cheetos with chopsticks. Oh, yeah. But that was something that Oscar Isaac, like, posted on Instagram that that's how he eats chopsticks. And he's he eats chopsticks. He eats Cheetos with chopsticks. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, he's confused. Wow, me, you're sorry. a dick. <laughs> <laughs> also, you sorry. Treat, you know? Sorry. The... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, you give that gluck gluck three thousand. Super cool. <laughs> sorry, mom. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> three thousand times. <laughs> No, this Gross. is this is off topic, but during the the intro, like where it shows like the Marvel characters in the logo, mm. uh, Moon Knight isn't in it. This Neither time is Spider Man. Spider Man makes Spider Man makes sense. Yeah, because if he's not in the film, like one, they probably can't. But also, after No Way Home, people don't remember him. Exactly. But. It would have been cool. It. Yeah. It would have been cool, though. And this is off topic. I'm sorry. But it would have been cool because in the comics, uh, the Hulk does not get bothered by that kind of shit. So he, he would remember who Peter is. So it would have been cool yeah. if they took him out up until now and then put Spider-Man back in for the opening credits. That would have been Ooh, just like a cool. Would be cool. They didn't do it. But Feige, hire me. Well, but it's also, this isn't the Hulk show. You know, it's the She-Hulk show. Yes. Yeah. I tried. I tried. Okay? I tried. Uh, anyways, enough about Oscar Isaac and Peter Parker. <laughs> Good looking dudes. This isn't about them. It's interesting, though, that you said Oscar Isaac and then Peter Parker. 
instead of his actual name. Tom Holland. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I was talking about Oscar Isaac in real life using chopsticks to eat Cheetos. Enough this about is... Tom Holland and Moon Knight. Steven. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say Stephen Grant. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like we, we mentioned, you know, during the first part of the flashback, Bruce Banner's back in his human form, like we saw mm-hmm. in the end credit scene from Shang-Chi. Mm-hmm. But they explain it. Mm-hmm. Because his arm wasn't healing after the events of Endgame, he created a, a device that would basically pull the Hulk part out of him and regulate it so that he was able to be human so that his arm could heal because the gamma damage to the Hulk <clears throat> wasn't repairing itself. And then they got in a car crash, and that thing broke, and then he went back to being Smart Hulk. They made a point to specify that it was Smart Hulk, too, which I thought was funny, because they can't use the phrasing Professor Professor Hulk Hulk because Universal still technically has rights to Solo. They universally suck? Yeah. What is it? Sony and... Who else? Fox we and Fox. Oh, yeah. we got to mention that we at, oh. at some point we don't have to do it right now. Well, let's do it before we get into House of the Dragon. But yeah, let's move on with this episode. Yeah, uh, that we're talking about and the podcast. Yeah, it's like a Fanta- fantastic, fantastic show. Uh, there's some cool scenes where, like training scenes, Hulk is basically, sorry, Bruce. Ben- I'm sorry, Mark Ruffalo. Is trying to teach uh, Jennifer Walters. <laughs> I'm sorry, who? <laughs> I'm making. Fu- I'm making I fun know of you either. are. Fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there's like some like a training montage kind of thing, and there's a couple funny parts. Uh, one of them being the rock throwing. He's like, "Look how strong we are!" And he like chucks a rock, and then she throws one farther than him and he gets pissed and he like picks one up and like and he picks up one that's just... like three times the size of the other ones and just rockets Yeet. it into space <laughs> <laughs> and he's like just had to show you how it's done and she's like jesus christ <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> jesus christ yeah uh yeah because i mean there's a lot of like i mean this is pro yeah women and they're co- pro and they're co- yeah and they're cousins so there's like a kind of like a Almost like a sibling rivalry kind of thing. It's and kind of, also, he just seems like he's a little bit jealous because she's kind of getting the hang of it faster. Faster, faster than he did, yeah. And, I mean, depending on how nerdy you want to get with it, there, there's really two explanations. The first one is in the comics, Bruce Banner kind of <clears throat> almost like Moon Knight, almost has kind of like an alter ego. Mm-hmm. As he's growing up, because his dad was abusive and would just like beat the shit out of him. So like, the Hulk was like the tough guy that would protect him. When he actually got the gamma poisoning radiation, yeah. those parts split, and that's why there's been this conflict between them. Also, I think since they never went into that in the MCU, I think that part of the reason why. Uh, very little. It was not much, and it was Ed Norton. So, no. Sorry, not trying to rain on you. No, no, no. Correct me, please. Well, there's the uh, well. One is the end credit scene. Uh, well, it's technically the same thing, but it's an end credit scene that they uh, didn't end up using. But then, uh, for the Incredible Hulk. Which shows Ed, Norton. uh, Ed Norton's Hulk uh, try to kill himself, and then Hulk appears, and you hear him scream, and like the snow falls off like a mountain, basically revealing Captain America's body under the ice. That was the scrapped end credit scene. But then Mark Ruffalo's Hulk um, makes a mention of it in the first Avengers movie, where he's like, I got low at one point, I tried to kill myself. The Hulk spit the other guy. He says the oh, other guy yeah. spit it out. So they do kind of mention that they he mention protects that they're him in a way. separate. I meant that but they that didn't he... like explain why they're separate. Because like in the comics, oh, it's no, no, because no, no. I just meant that he explains trauma. that the Hulk protects him, and he says it again in another 
part in I don't remember which it's movie later on like, in the, the Avengers because yeah. when it, Tony Stark is like that much gamma radiation should have killed you and he's like oh so you're oh, saying like the other that's guy it. Yep. saved me that's a nice <laughs> sentiment I pointed at you and it, yeah. I gotta point at the camera <laughs> I need the camera like right here <laughs> we don't need to yeah. see how many crop tops you actually wear Uh, but uh, a more MCU appropriate explanation as to why she's not battling as much is because the when she got hit uh, I almost said Mark uh, Bruce's blood in her system was after he had melded uh, Mm -hmm. you know Hulk and Bruce and made Mm. smart Hulk yeah it's a less sad, traumatic explanation than the the comic origins. I'm sorry, that took a lot of time for me to... I mean, we That's tangented okay. off of it, but... That's okay. This but is... the, the main point of it is Bruce is also kind of a little jealous because, like, he's like, yeah, like, 10 to 15 years, like, I struggled to, like, find this balance and get to this yeah. point. And she, like, she... got it in, like, a day. Yeah. When, and it was, like, she just, like, automatically had it. As where yeah. he had to create that device to like do it and merge himself yeah. with, yeah, yeah. The and third she... time that we see her change into the Hulk, yeah, she's like, as, as She Hulk, she's like, what the hell, man? And he's like, and he's like, you're still you. What the <laughs> hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he like oh. rips the first page out of his binder of like this the how to Hulk guide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the diary uh, it... for a how to Hulk kid. Fun fight scene between them two, between mm-hmm. them two, between those two. Sorry, um, she basically wants to get back to her life, and he's like, "Nah, dude, you gotta train some more." And she's like, "No, get out of my way." And he's like, "No." So they fight a little bit. It's pretty cool. Um, they smash his tiki know. bar that him and Tony built. Oh, that was adorable, by the way. It was that him and him and so he like has this oasis basically in the middle of nowhere that. He and Tony built for Banner to, like, escape people because whatever. But they, like, built a bar together, and they carved their initials into the top <laughs> yeah. of the bar. It is so, like, without uh, whatever I'm going to say, it was cute. It was so cute. It was. It was like, and Bruce even <laughs> says, like, it's a good memory from a bad time. Like, yeah. Like, one of those, like, silver lining, you know? Yeah. But... They fall off of like a little cliff or hill and smash through the bar, and then he's like, "My bar!" <laughs> yeah. And then they, you know, they kind of like calm down, make up, and he's like, "Before you leave, though, you, you're helping me fix this." Mm. It's just funny. Mm. I also like the part in the training montage where she Natasha's herself, or Hulk Natasha's her off the. Cliff. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> just she nothing. like she like does something better than him and he just goes Oh, you know what? Oh my god, you know what it was? I didn't even catch this till just now. He does it to Thor in the first Avengers movie. Where he just goes, Wham <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he literally did the same thing to her. She was like, ha ha and he goes, Bam He just shoves her <laughs> off a cliff and she like gives him the peace sign on her way down. Yeah. <laughs> And she comes up, she's like, dick. Yeah. But then later, she, like, hits him. And I don't think he gives her the finger, but then he's like, dick move. And she's like, I oh, learned yeah. from the best. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's very fun, very funny. Uh, the action sequences, other than one, uh, are pretty good. <laughs> well, let's talk about it, because it's... We get uh, introduced to Titania. Titania. I just want to say, like, (laughs) Tatiana, but that's not right, because it's Tatiana Maslany. Maslany is playing Jennifer Walters. Yeah, the woman playing, yeah. what Jamila Jamil is who plays Titania. Titania, Which sounds like Tatiana. I get where it's hard to say. And I know that there's an I in the beginning (laughs) of it, and so, like, just naturally I want to be like, Titiana. And I was like, <laughs> it's not, that's not right. That's wrong. Chad. Shame. 
Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> wiener, wiener, wiener. <laughs> it's still funny. It's still <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we we get introduced to Titania at the end, towards the end of the episode, and she does a very it's awesome, so flying kick. cheesy. Yeah, she. She jumps, she breaks into the courtroom because now we're back and like yeah. Jennifer Walters is back to practicing law. She's got her yeah. Yeah. change human, under her power. human form, yeah. So, you know, she's been like change free for like months or something like that, uh, maybe even close to a year. And she's in the courtroom and Titania busts through the courtroom and starts just, like, wreaking havoc. And she looks like, well, she's throwing shit. She broke through a wall. I oh, mean, yeah! Was on the door, yeah, <laughs> come on. You can still make an entrance coming through the door. With that outfit, yeah. <laughs> Good God, Twisted Sister would be like, damn, that's over the top. Yeah, but then she Luke Kang's her way <laughs> over to, uh... <laughs> I know it's different, but I just want to be like, a duke and... <laughs> yeah. No, when he does the uh, bicycle kick, he goes, yeah, 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 you know, like. Yeah, yeah. but she, like, <laughs> jumps for, like, a flying, like, side kick or, like, kind of like a drop kick. But she, I, I know that it's that, to make it look the air The air time was weird. She, like, jumped slightly throughout the kick and then just, like. <laughs> yeah, you had to go to YouTube to see what Chad just did to understand it or watch the show, which you should do. <laughs> But you can also yeah, watch it's on Spotify now because I guess that's a thing. Woo! Oh. But yeah, it's it's awkward and yeah. And then she just gets fucking yeeted to the ground from yeah, She Hulk. We were talking about the, oh my god, we didn't even get to it. What's your? Are you ready? Your your qualm. Oh yeah. I've been making fun of you for saying it wrong for so long, because <laughs> when I read it, I know there's an L in the word qualm, but. It's Quam. I looked it up. It's pronounced Quam. I'm sorry. It's been I have 77 one, weeks. I have one single Quam with the show. It just and me, it's like, that. when I hear it because I think it's wrong. It's not. Sorry. And What's your Quam? It's that uh, Jennifer Walters' hair is about sh- maybe shoulder ish. Yeah. Like, it's like a bob, curly bob. Yeah. But when she hulks out, her hair is straight for one. And two, it goes to probably like the middle of her fucking back. Doesn't make no sense. Yeah, middle doesn't of the bicep, middle of the bicep to like sense. elbow. Yeah, not okay with that. I I know that that's how She Hulk looks in the comics, but why be like, hey, well, we're gonna cut your hair to like here, and then when you Hulk out, it's gonna go to here. Like, why not just have Jennifer Walters have long hair if that's gonna be the case? I don't. Whatever. Bruce's hair stays the same when yeah. he hulks out. Is it that way in the comics, though, with Jennifer Walters? Is her hair curly? In the comics, Jennifer Walters doesn't change between Hulk and human. Hmm. Maybe it's leading up to that, because in the previews, like she's like going to events as She-Hulk, going on dates yeah. as She-Hulk. So maybe it's leading to that, though. Yeah. She does not change like Bruce does. She stays green, mean, something sexy machine. ass machine. <laughs> anyway, with respect. Yeah, respectfully, sexy. But yeah, that's my uh, that's my qualm. Only qualm. The show itself is great. My fantastic. My only qualm, and it's gonna sound so bad because like, so this show is like very pro feminism pro woman mm-hmm. i love it i think that it's it's great there's one scene that almost feels like just a trope because she's a woman and it's in during that fight scene in the courtroom where oh, yeah. her friend is like you can you can do something about this like chain hulk out like you can stop this woman and jennifer walters is trying like fine okay and then she like turns this like she's about to like you know change into the Hulk and her friend's like oh but take off your shoes you don't you don't want to ruin your pumps 
It was like, <laughs> it just seemed unnecessary. Mm. Like, I get it. She's She made a joke that, like, oh, yeah, I do love these shoes. Like, mm. But it was just, like, it drew attention away from, like, her... Being a badass. And changing into the Hulk in public for the first time mm-hmm. to be a hero. Mm-hmm. It was, like, all just so that, like, she didn't ruin her shoes. Yeah. That um, was my qualm. I said it right. Oh, we have, like, two... We have three things left. Oh, jeez, we gotta fly through this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the three things? I only see well, two. You got you got jealous? Oh, don't worry. Yeah, we talked talk about that. About that. Yep, never mind. Guess two. who didn't show up in this episode? Ah. Oh. Not yet. He's not here yet. Charlie oh. Cox, Daredevil, is not here yet. We will keep you posted when he shows up, but it's no, not yet. No, Matthew Murdock. Yet. 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 And a running thing that has... I mean, it's been going on since fucking forever. But uh, Jennifer Walters, when... At the very start of the episode, she's in the car with Bruce talking about... Is Captain America a virgin? Did he die a virgin? And never gets an answer, never gets an answer. There's an end credit scene. And boy, do we get an answer. (laughs) So it's Jennifer Walters sitting next to Smart Hulk. They're Uh, drinking. With the rebuilt bar. With the rebuilt bar. Mm -hmm. He, uh, she is pretending to be drunk, crying, like so sad. No. That's America's no, no, no. ass. They're not. They're not pretending to be drunk. They are drunk, but they won't get hangovers because they're meta- they're uh, whatever rebuilds. So they can get drunk, but they don't get hungover. All, all buzz. Yeah, is what. Uh, Banner yeah, says. you you but, feel fucking good. You just don't end up with a hangover. Yeah, you just don't get like slosh. You don't get like yeah. sloppy drunk. But she's like crying like acting like she's sloppy drunk and she's like it's so sad he did so much for this country and that ass america's ass and he died a virgin and finally hulk just caves what does he say steve rogers did not die a virgin he lost his virginity on the uso tour in whatever fucking date he said 1943 yeah which Cannot be confirmed or denied, but we believe it was with Star Lord's mom, grandmother, grandmother. Sorry, yes, because they put an emphasis on her face. Nineteen forty-three. Mm-hmm. Uh, his mom was like in her forties when she passed away. Right, 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 right. right. Played yep. by the same yep. actress between the two. Yeah, and She Hulk loses her shit. She sobers up. She goes. She stops, like, cry- fake crying, stop being like, and, like, slurring her words. She goes, yes, I knew it. Captain America fucks. Only they cut off before she finished the word fuck, much like mm-hmm. the Spider-Man movies have in the past. Yeah. And then uh, Steve Rogers himself, <laughs> a.k.a. Chris Evans, uh, commented on it on social media. It was really funny. Yeah, he just thought um, it was hilarious. Because no one <laughs> told him that that was going to be like a point of topic like, right. in the actual like MCU. It was just supposed to be ambiguous. Absolutely hilarious. Tell us about our second sponsor. Go watch the show. <laughs> I was like, I don't think we have anything else for this. Just go watch it. Uh, it's hilarious. Comes out on Thursdays, yeah. which is weird for like an MCU show on Disney+, Plus, but whatever. Well, it wasn't Miss Marvel on Wednesdays? All of them have been on Wednesdays. Yeah, whatever. Anyways. Wednesday's uh, my day off, damn it. I like to watch that during the day. (laughs) Tell us about Crybaby Craig's. Sponsor number two is Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. It's a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes on... that goes on practically anything. Today! (laughs) Junior? Today, Junior. Anyways, listen up. We'll tell you more about it. Hey, you nerds. Do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, our good friends over at Crybaby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods. 
adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. All right, we got to we got to mention something that's pretty dumb in the nerd world. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> uh, much like Sony was being a jerk about uh, the rights to Spider-Man, now Fox is doing the same thing about the rights to the X-Men for Marvel. And what's are not dumb about uh, it is that Disney bought Fox. Yeah. But like we're going to get into if they don't show the 20th century logo, mm-hmm. they can't use the name X-Men. Yeah. So Marvel is now being forced to call them the mutants, and we can't use the X-Men term, which is dog shit. Dog shit. You're already owned by the company. You're still going to make the yeah. fucking profits. You don't yeah. exist. You are a fucking satellite umbrella nothing so fucking annoying (sighs) so fucking annoying i'm glad that they take their their bullshittery uh from their news counterpart yeah of just dumb and not smart (laughs) but on a lighter note oh we're not gonna go political that's right that's our other podcast (laughs) on a lighter note (laughs) semi-lighter House of the Dragon, which is the prequel to Game of Thrones, aired last night. Uh, for you guys, for you Sunday friends, yeah. sorry, listening, it will have aired on the twenty first, which was Sunday. You will be hearing this on Wednesday. Blah blah blah. Anyways, spoiler alert before we get started. But go watch Jesus, it. It was way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. I, I knew it, it was going to be good. It has I season just, one Game of Thrones vibes where, like, yeah. you're hooked after the first episode. Yeah, I At was. Least I was. Yeah. No, I was, too. Yeah, I was uh, fucking. Yeah, anyways, we get. <laughs> I'm, like, losing myself because I'm trying to not look at this the other <laughs> screen. So I'm, like, trying to just do it. But Nike. Uh, <laughs> just do it. We, we get to see very briefly or kind of get a mention to where Jon Snow gets his name from is the very first king uh, for the Targaryens which is pretty cool. Aegon Targaryen. Yeah and the Targaryens ruled Westeros for 200 years? Just shy of 200 years? I don't know it was like 6 generations or 8 generations or something. Yeah. This show is basically about a civil the the civil war that's talked about in Game of Thrones, uh, a civil war in the house of Targaryen. Yeah, and that's what this show is about. Showing right now the lead up to, and they lead pretty heavily up to it in just yeah. this first episode. Like you already know who the bad guy is going to be. Like maybe not though. In true Game of Thrones fashion, that's everyone's that's kind of. That's fair evil in their own way yeah um but so far we've gotten two different dragons Mm -hmm. they're already at least adolescent large enough to ride um there's a ton of people in this show uh Mm -hmm. the four main it's morbid time morbid time (laughs) matt smith uh he's also the doctor yeah, uh, and the Doctor el- Strange. The 11th Doctor in Doctor Who. I was just kidding. I know but... you were. I just didn't want people to be like, you guys are fucking wrong, I hate you, because Doctor <laughs> Who fans are very passionate, more than if you, Harry if you Potter listen adults. To us, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, but he plays Damon Targaryen, who is brother to the king, uh, King Viserys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't write down that actor's name. But you just look at him, and you're like, oh, I know this guy. He's actually in, like, Hot Fuzz. Uh, mm-hmm. Love Hot Fuzz. He is also in Shaun of the Dead. I mean, he's he pops up in every single one of uh, mm-hmm. Nick Frost and Simon Pegg's films. Um, 
Also, he's just a fantastic actor. Like, mm-hmm. he's not just known for being in, like, spoof films. Uh, well, that's Matt Smith. Actually, oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought you were talking about... Matt Smith is a great actor. I, I thought you were calling uh, Morbius a spoof film, and I was like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it, it could be. <laughs> it's a spoof superhero film, and it's a spoof vampire film. You're talking about his brother. Yeah, King Viserys. Gotcha. Yeah, um, my bad, my bad, my bad. Also, uh, Rhaenyra, played by Millie Alcock. Uh, we get to see her as kind of like a young adult, like 18, 19. I think she's ish. supposed to be. No, she's 15 in the show, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they mention it when uh, her mom is laying on that uh, bed, very pregnant. And she was like, you're just 15 but soon you'll be laying in this very same bed and I was like ah gross (laughs) (laughs) did not catch that line in real life Millie Alcock is 22 Mm -hmm. just throwing that part out there Uh, we also get (laughs) Uh, we also get uh, Rise Iphens Reese 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 Iphens yeah who in the nerd realm Played the lizard in the Amazing Spider-Man. So Doctor Connor, yeah. Uh, but he is the the hand of the king. Otto He's Highwater, hand of the king. Yeah. <laughs> He's also very unrecognizable. Yeah. I did not know that that was him until I looked up the cast and I was like, shit. I that's him. <laughs> I looked up the cast at the start of the episode and I was like. Oh, okay. I recognize some of these people. Cool, cool, cool. And I was like, "He's in this? Who yeah. is he?" And like, he'd already been in like five scenes. <laughs> I was like halfway through the episode, <laughs> and then yeah. someone like said his name, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I think he's notoriously blonde, which is part of the part of it. So now he's a brunette, and very rarely does got... he have facial hair. That's why yeah. I didn't recognize him. I don't know if you ever saw the King's Men, the the latest King's Men film. Nope. The king's didn't man. care for the first. Didn't he, care for the first. He plays one. Rasputin. Mm. So like, very Russian, big, dark black beard, like dark sunken eyes. Like I was like, holy shit, that's him. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, those are kind of some of the main characters that we're gonna reference. Also, uh, <clears throat> Reese's daughter uh, is kind of like the handmaiden tale. Uh, to uh, Rhaenyra, Millie yeah. Alcock's character, the princess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, which they haven't like e- explicitly said it, but pretty sure they're, they're lovers. Lo- yeah, they're in love. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm sure we'll explore that more later on. Um, one of the cool scenes in the show for me was <laughs> <laughs> one of the cool scenes in the show for me was. Uh, well, one of the, sorry, let me back up one second. Let's one start of with the... the first scene of the show. Go ahead. Just because it's been, you know, five, six years since Game of Thrones ended. And this is a new timeline. Not a new timeline, but a new time frame, time era. It's a prequel, yeah. So on top of this being a prequel, they started... Just the opening scene was about, I guess, 15 years before where the show starts. And it was just a way to kind of, like, reintroduce you. Well, oh, you yeah. said that yes, she's yes, 15. Yeah. My bad, my bad, my so, bad, my bad. And yeah. you're, you're right, yeah. Her mom was pregnant. <clears throat> um, and it just shows when King Viserys, mm. at that point in time, he was just a prince being named the heir to the throne. Over Between his him and sister. his sister... Yeah. Kind of just like perpetuating the patriarchy. And, but it was cool because, you know, the voiceover was going and it just kind of reintroduced you to the show, but to a new story. And it, I thought it was a good way to bring you back into the world of Game of Thrones because. They also, yeah. And you know, they also give you a, that, the, a, a subtle, a more subtle version of the. Wiener, 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 wiener. You know, <laughs> they do, they do. They yeah, give it, no, they uh, give it to you softly. Yeah, yeah. Like, wiener, 
Yeah. They definitely push rope with it. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this entire segment should just be sorry, mom. <laughs> Cause it's Game of Thrones. Well, they do, they do, House they play the, the original score, um, for Game of Thrones, but they slow it down a little bit, change it up a little bit, but it's still, uh, very much, you know. It's like yeah. Duel of the Fates in episode one of Star Wars with uh, Battle of the Heroes in episode three of Star Wars. It's the same, but like changed <clears throat> enough to where it's original, but you can hear the first. I am a big fan of, and hopefully they keep it throughout the season, the intro is very short, unlike oh Game of Thrones where it was like a two minute long <laughs> And it Intro. and it changed every <laughs> single week because it was yeah. telling you who was going to be in this episode and stuff. Just yeah. like these are the headline characters. Yeah. So hopefully it stays that way. But anyways, I hope so too. <laughs> As you were going to say, I did not mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. The fuck was I going to say? Uh, the scene with Damon because he's the. The lead of the Kingsguard. Oh, the gold capes or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this yeah, is where a... they got. This is the start of them wearing gold. Yeah, it's it's he basically. So he doesn't live here. He got sent away, but he comes. He don't back. even go here. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a lot of feelings. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So he comes back. And there's some creepiness with his niece. We'll get into that. Whatever. But there is a really cool scene where he is basically like, hey, you know what? Since my brother started ruling, the streets are running amok with criminals and blah, blah, blah. So he takes his. He He's basically but, in Jamie Lannister's position as like the leader of the King's Guard. Yeah. And he's like, let's just go fuck some people up and let them know that they can't do this shit. So he takes his guys his people, sorry. And they got gold capes on over their shoulder. Very, they look like Romans, but with gold instead of red. Yeah. Um, and they basically just like start pointing people out in the crowd. That person's a thief and they grab that person, chop their fucking hand off. And that person's a rapist and they grab that person, cut their dick off. No joke. That's what actually happened. And then they're like, that person's a murderer. And then they show... You don't show... see the wiener get cut, but you see the dude, like, squirming with his pants around his ankle. Yeah. yeah. F- from the ass view. So yeah. don't worry. You, you don't assume ex- it's a cutting. It could be maybe he's screaming in pleasure. I don't know. <laughs> they're like, they slap. They slap. They slap something down <laughs> after he screams. They're like... That was that. They high-fived it. They high-fived it. They were like, good dick. <laughs> Good diaka. Diak. <laughs> but uh and then yeah, so then they mur- murderers get their heads cut off and they basically just show like a wagon full of body parts of these people that they just like cut their limbs off uh in accordance to their crimes. Did I say that right? That sounded weird. No, but, that yeah, in accordance okay. <laughs> to their crimes, yeah. Yeah. And uh his brother, the king I was going to say he didn't like it, but then actually... At but the then end he, of that, like, defended like, him for it Yeah, still. he's like, our streets ended pretty bad. We yeah. probably needed this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it was a pretty gnarly scene. It comes out later scene. that he, like... He's like, he's my brother. I'm going to support him. I may not like everything that he does, but he's my brother. Yeah. That happens it was, later. But like, in, yeah. in true Game of Thrones fashion, it was pretty gnarly scene. It I was. Loved it. I loved it. And the reason that he did that was because, so, the king and his queen are expecting a baby. Mm-hmm. And he's certain that it's going to be a, a son to mm-hmm. for the heir to the throne. Yeah. <clears throat> so they're throwing, like, a tournament, like we saw in the first season of Game of Thrones. Uh, Robert Baratheon threw, like, a... a basically a tournament for his birthday but this mm-hmm. was to celebrate the birth of his child yeah and so all these people are coming from across you know the the realms 
so they wanted to clean up the streets. And that's yeah. how uh, Matt Smith's Damon Targaryen justified it. He's like, we're going to yeah. have lords and ladies from across the seven nations here to celebrate the birth of your heir. But really, it's kind of a... Like, he's undermining his brother and showing, like, like hey, I'm the one cleaning up the streets. Yeah. You've been doing Could, fuck all. And they even say that, like, he didn't get approval from the king to do that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Viserys is even, like, he, along the lines of saying, like, thank you for doing this, but if you ever yeah. act that heinously without my command, mm-hmm. there's going to be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I forgot it. You go. But, so, well, do we want to get to the, the Sweet Home Westeros? Or uh, do we want to <laughs> talk about the tournament and the the birth scene? Uh, well, choose. the tournament and the birth scene kind of run hand in hand. They literally like, cut when you're between. watching it. Yeah, yeah. So let's go there. Let's go there. Okay. So we get to the tournament. You know, it's a tournament. Joust, it's fantastic. Jousts are going on. The best tournament. It's huge. <laughs> no China. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, but so the tournament's happening. At the same time, the queen goes into labor. Mm-hmm. So the, the king is drawn away, but it's very back and forth. Cutscene to cutscene of, like, the yeah. joust happening... The music uh, is very the, intense. And what's uh, and you're cool going back, is, yeah, uh, it's it's a small scene. You, I mean, you talked about it where the queen is like laying in the tub and talking to Rhaenyra. Is like, you know, you're only 15, but in a few years, you know, this will be you. Mm-hmm. And Rhaenyra is like, I'd rather be a knight fighting. She's like, as a woman, this is your battleground. Yeah. So it's cutting back and forth where like it's their battle gr- like the yeah. the the women they're very republican for sure yeah. <laughs> the women of <laughs> westeros's battlefield versus the men playing war because it's a time of peace there's no yeah. infighting happening yet but again in a game of thrones fashion they're literally bashing each other's skulls in. And oh, yeah, it's still... Very bloody. It's yeah. <laughs> still jousting. People are getting butt hurt and killing each other after they get knocked off their horse. So they're like, yeah. oh, no, you tripped my horse. I'm going to kill you. Die. Here's a mace to the face ten times. Yeah, it, there was some pretty... It was gruesome. pretty brutal, yeah. And but, we see, like, multiple back and forths and stuff like that but probably the most brutal scene in the episode is oh give give some context first and then i'll explain the gore uh are we talking about on the birth side or the tournament the choice the mm. Mm. the best choice no the hamburger or hot dog do you taco or do you pizza both (laughs) <laughs> if you go. go to Taco Bell, you can get a Mexican pizza. That's a taco <laughs> pizza. Anyways, uh, no, so there's complications with the queen's birth. Mm. And the the Grand Meister, Meister, Meister. Master. The Grand Meister. Meister. The Grand Sir. <laughs> no, the, the Grand Meister goes to the king and is like... <clears throat> Uh, there's an impossible choice to be had at this point in time. If we leave it as it is to where she just gives birth naturally, both will die. So either both will die or you can make the choice and save one of them. Either perform a very dangerous, well, at that point in time, it would have been dangerous. Lethal. Lethal. C-section, because they had no way to stop the bleeding. Mm. Obviously, nowadays, like, a C-section, people like are like, I want that. There's no dragons nowadays to cauterize the wound. Well, back then, that didn't help either, because <laughs> they were going to die. Yeah. Um, or 
terminate the baby, let her pass it naturally, and she lives. Mm -hmm. So the king has to choose, lose them both, lose one or the other. But since he only has a daughter, yeah, and, and the baby is a boy... Well, he doesn't know for sure, but he's convinced yeah. in his mind. Because he had a dream that the baby was a boy. Yeah. Uh, and Targaryens are known for having yeah. grandiose dreams that are yeah. actually visions of the future. And so this would be his heir to the throne, would be his son Yeah. Uh, that his wife is carrying. So he chooses, and what happens, Chadley? They perform a very grotesque c-section it's brutal it's they it's, they yeah. <laughs> do for as terrible and grotesque as it is because they're literally murdering and they hot her dogged. slowly they hot dogged they didn't hamper with the, with the cut they hot dogged they didn't hamper yeah. her i yeah. think they they did like a reverse autopsy by i think that they like and it was an upside down the, Y. I think the part that made it like so powerful and like fucked up is that there, there was no conversation. There was just like Viserys comes over to her and like grabs her hand and is like, "It's gonna be okay." And then other people come over and grab her other limbs and basically hold her down. And she's like, "What the hell's going on?" And then yeah. they just start cutting her open. Yeah. And she's, like, screaming and begging them to, like, stop. You and, don't yeah. see as much of, like, the actual carving. You, there is a lot of blood. You do well, see, a also a very... you see a little bit of, like, hands going into yeah. the belly, but you don't see them, like, cut yeah. her open yeah. or, like, guts it's or anything. Kinda like, it's kind of like uh, the scene in Ghost where Patrick Swayze is, like, guiding Demi Moore's hands. They're very, there's hands on the, on the clay. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. If you guys weren't watching that, you would not understand what just happened. <laughs> yeah, actually, you could probably piece that together yeah, based yeah, on all the context. It <laughs> but it's yeah. terrible. But at that same time, as the the heir to the king is being extracted from his dying mm -hmm. wife, mm -hmm. uh, Damon Targaryen, played by Matt Smith, is in the middle of a joust with... Joust turned battle. Turned battle because he got knocked yeah. off of his horse and was pissed. So he went to attack the other knight, like sword versus mace, like, yeah. and. He got smacked around. And he ends up on his back, unarmed, yeah. sword gone, shield yeah. destroyed, even the knife, his backup knife, his sidearm, yeah. if you will. He, uh. He Fucked around and found out. Very much found out. Yeah. And, you know, the other knights yelling, yield, yield, yield. Mm. And, I mean, he, he does he does yield, but mm. you don't, I didn't trust that yield. I thought all. for sure he was going to stab that dude. So for did sure. I. Either Indirect. as he got picked up, like, because yeah. he, Cause the, the, yeah, the he dude, like, reached down. Like, yeah. I thought he was going to, like, take the hand and then stab him. He just slaps the hand away and, like, gets up because he's, like, yeah. proud little bitch with no eyebrows. <laughs> it's my yeah. That's my qualm with Matt Smith's character is he's so blonde that he does not have eyebrows uh, in, in this character. But anyways, then it goes back to the king and the queen. She is dead mm -hmm. on the bed. Uh, the maester is holding... The baby is like, congratulations, it's a boy, this is your heir. <laughs> the baby coughs a few times, like Jake just did, and the maester <laughs> just kind of like looks at the baby and is like, oh shit. shit. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Shit. Because then it just like goes quiet. And then the next the next scene that you see is... Literally a, f a funeral with a pyre. Oh. Yeah, but they only show, at first, they only show uh, his wife's body, and yeah. then they zoom out, or pan out. Pan out's the way to go with that. And then there's a tiny little cute little mummy next to the mom mummy. <laughs> a mom and me coffin? It, well, it was a mummy. 
They wrapped it oh, up like a mummy. Oh, you said mummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I said was so much more fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so you see that they both died, which now the king is riddled with guilt because he made, obviously he made, made, the wrong dis- yeah. made the wrong choice. Yeah, and killed both of them instead of saving his wife he chose an heir instead of the love of his life and they both died yeah and i know that we've skipped over a lot of like the character development so far even in the first episode of we could talk uh, a lot about this show it would go on forever yeah but so she has she owns one of the dragons that we've met so far I don't remember the dragon's name, but she is tasked oh. with lighting the, the pyre. Who plays the dragon? I'll look it up. Benedict Cumberbatch? <laughs> is it Smaug? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> no, that was funny. <laughs> I feel like my joke wasn't as appreciated. <laughs> I thought Sorry. it was clever. Uh, anyway, so she's tasked with lighting the pyre with her dragon so we know it's coming like us fanboys that you know loved game of thrones but if you've never watched it you don't know it that you think that the dragon's just there Mm -hmm. you you know know, she she hesitates she looks at her dragon and then jacaris jacaris i literally said it to the tv i was like "Mm, jacaris i did twice (laughs) Because at first I was like, oh, 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 Dracarys. And then when I thought she was going to say it first, and then she freezes and then, like, looks at her dad, all sad. And then Matt Smith is like, you have to do this. Like, your dad, yeah. your dad can't do this. And yeah. it's one of the few times in the episode where you also look at Damon Targaryen, um, again, Matt Smith, and are like, he actually cares. Like, he cares. Yeah. About, he actually cares about his family. He's just got a real creepy vibe he, towards his. Uh, yeah, he's niece. got a. Mm, yeah. A bit of a, wants, of a uh, a little bit of a Daenerys vibe, if you will. Yeah. Just wants to bang like his sibling's child. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's wiener, weird. Real weird. Wiener, 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 wiener. <laughs> sweet home Halloweener. <Whoa. laughs> yeah, it's a little creepy. Um. Oh shit! What was this? I have a theory, and I didn't mention this to you can when we, we were talking about Can we talk about, about how the, the the pubes? Oh, <laughs> as I'm like rubbing my mustache. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> I found it so funny. I literally felt like uh, Leo DiCaprio in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I was like, hop, 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 hop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Matt Smith's character is very... Uh, the Targaryens are uh, known blonde. for having, like, almost white, white blonde hair. Like or blonde hair, hair yeah. Uh, he's but at his, a whorehouse. Car- his carpet doesn't match the pubes. Yeah, he's at, he's at a pleasure house. He, like, gets up because he can't finish because the girl has brown hair. Because it's not his niece. Yeah. I feel so weird knowing that she's only 15 now talking about that. In it's the part, show. It's part of the show. It's part of the show. Millie Alcock is not 15. She is 22. 13. <laughs> no. I was, just, I was just kidding. I was trying to... No. Confess. She is old enough. <laughs> Anyways, he gets up and, like, he just, like, turns away. And you're like, is this going to be the first dick that we see in the show? Because in Game of Thrones, you see plenty of wieners. Wiener, wiener, wiener. See, we told you it would come yeah. back. We, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he like throws. What's a sh- funny? He throws a shawl on, but like as he's tying it shut, you don't actually see his wiener, but you just see big brown bush. And I just went up, 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 <laughs> like audibly at my TV. Yeah. Maybe he dyes his pubes. Oh yeah, so that the carpet doesn't match the pubes. <laughs> if you know, you know. I love redheads, man. I wonder if her carpet matches the pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should have done it towards the camera. I fucked up there. <laughs> yeah. um, but, no, I was going to say, my I have a theory that we didn't talk about. Um, 
I think the dragons in this show are going to be very much like the dire wolves in Game of Thrones. And we'll see them, unfortunately, meet their demise, uh, leading to their extinction uh, as the show goes on. You're actually very correct. Without, I know. without knowing for sure. But according to Game of Thrones law, lore, law, lore, <laughs> uh, about 150 years passed from the last living dragon to when Daenerys was born. Mm. And this show takes place 172 years, mm. at least this episode, before Daenerys was born. And this show is yeah. supposed to span about 20, 25 years. Yeah. Over the course of... I don't know if it's going to be one season or over the course of the series. Yeah. But... So, yes, you we will see dragons come and go. Uh, <laughs> oh, like coming? <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> Come and go. It's a gas station in <laughs> Iowa, you sick fucks. <laughs> uh, do the White Walker thing. Do, do the thing. Do the thing. So after the the funeral, uh, basically the the High Council gets together. They decide that Viserys is not going to be named heir. And instead the king is going to name his daughter Rhaenyra. Oh, but why? Partially... Part only because I watched the like behind the episode. It's partially because of his guilt of focusing so much on having a son to name heir that he neglected his daughter this entire time. Yeah. But the anger side of it. The anger side of it is because the like the week of the funeral of the baby and the queen, Damon Targaryen basically takes out all of the officers of the king's guard the gold cloaks and takes them to a whorehouse and in his toast he raises a glass to the late queen and the heir to the throne for a day king, king was the heir to king for a day or heir, 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 for, yeah. heir, heir for a day yeah heir for a day that's what it was yeah Whew. and Brutal. the king Viserys just destroyed because that's his brother who's yeah. mocking the death of his child. Yeah. And so he basically <clears throat> strips him of his title of being yeah. uh, the, Banish, the commander him. of the King's Guard. Yeah. And banishes him from King's Landing to go back to yeah. uh, v- not uh, old Valyria, but like Valyria. Uh, he's also like across the eastern sea like past dorn go back to he also has a wife uh yeah. Damon Targaryen has a wife that mm-hmm. he despises because she's not a his pasty niece. blonde Targaryen he's like he even says at one point in the episode oh that mm, I'm not going to say it <laughs> I'm, there's a, I'm there's I'm, a, I'm I can't say it I'm white there's a part there's a part where he's in a in the whorehouse Sorry, whores that are listening. Uh, he's sex workers. A... <laughs> we support you. <laughs> yeah, he's in a whorehouse and uh, the he can't get it up. Happens. It's not that uncommon. He's just pushing rope. It's fine. And uh, <laughs> and uh, he gets frustrated and not everyone he... can be Captain America, nineteen forty three, on the USO tour. <laughs> <laughs> and the the companion, we'll call her a companion instead of whore. I feel bad. Uh, yeah. He comes up and uh, she's like, hey, like, do you want me to bring another girl in? I have several girls. I even have girls with white hair. And he kind of, like, looks up at her and it's like, ah, you sicko. Like, yeah. he wants he wants his niece. I yeah. already know that that's what's happening. Like... Because he also, like, gives her, like, a necklace made of mm-hmm. Valyrian steel and, like makes her turn around so he can like essentially put it around her neck yeah yeah it's creepy it's some some real lannister vibes i was just about to say (laughs) that was literally verbatim what i was gonna say (laughs) i didn't mean to steal your thunder my bad dude no you're fine that's we didn't talk about that so i didn't know i know that's why we're funny damn it we're funny damn it what are you doing uncle (laughs) 
<laughs> oh man, I almost don't want to put that fucking drum beat that everyone knows but doesn't want to admit that they know over that part. <laughs> oh uh, god. But during the part where King Viserys <laughs> is telling Rhaenyra that he's going to name her heir to the throne, mm. he also tells her about a vision of, I think, Aegon. Uh, Targaryen again, which is why he crossed the Eastern Sea to come to Westeros was because of his vision of eternal darkness and winter and cold that is rifled with an unbeatable army of the dead. As we know from Game of Thrones, those are the and windwalkers. And Bruce Campbell came in with the chainsaw. <laughs> You said army. Oh, you did. Army of Darkness. Damn it. No, I did say Army of the Dead. Yeah, but it, the movie is called Ar Army of Darkness. No, oh. Army of... Yeah. So I was off. I was well, off. you were wrong twice. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. It happens. Whatever. You said qualm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, uh, so he basically talks about the the future of the battle against the White Walkers. Mm. And that's why the Targaryens have to stay in power because they're the ones that can unite the realms and the nations of Westeros to fight this evil because of, they have dragons. But I what was that cool that is the... that they referenced it, that uh, Aegon Targaryen named this vision and dream a song of fire and ice, which is what Game of Thrones, like the, the seven-book series, well, six, because the seventh book still isn't finished. <laughs> Good thing we finished the story without you, George R. R. Martin. Yeah, and it was um, dog crap. Dog yeah. crap! Yes. Yes. But it was... The saga was called The Song of Fire mm -hmm. and Ice. Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, uh, I wonder if the, because of that, I wonder if we'll get to see, because we only got like a flashback in Game of Thrones uh, when the Children of the Woods explained how the White Walkers came to be. I wonder if we'll get a more in-depth flashback. Yeah, that would be cool. Because, I mean, that happened like thousands of years before Oh, so that's already, that's already a thing now. White Walkers already exist. They're just. Oh, I hope we get to see some then. They're just. I was literally sleeping. talking to people at work about it today, and I was like, I don't like. I love the show, so far, based on the first episode. But I don't know if we're gonna get as much of a supernatural aspect of it as Game of Thrones. There's did. fucking dragons. Yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> Game of Thrones was. You had the Stone People. You had. White Walkers, you had the Children of the Woods, you had Giants. You well, had... we might get yeah. Greystone from, or Grayscale, or, which yeah. leads to the Stone People, uh, because King Viserys has an infection on his back <clears throat> from the throne. Yeah, but this, this show is supposed to be more about the Civil War in the House yeah. of Targaryen, so I don't think we're going to get as much of a supernatural vibe from it. That's all I'm saying. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know. I could be very wrong. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. They might yeah. also try and like stretch this out for like ten seasons, and I hope not. But I, I much, I much more rather them uh, one and done. The, the Jon Snow. Yeah, I want the Jon Snow sequel. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good for for this. Let's go ahead and close out this episode. But before we do, we got a couple things we just want to talk about with you. With y'all. <laughs> Were you gonna I say y'all? No, I almost said. I know said what you, you almost guys. said. Yeah. I almost said you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Go. with with y'all. With y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as as you We're all, making an effort, damn it. I know. <laughs> as as many of you know, uh, we do have our Patreon page. It's a fantastic way to support the podcast. You know, as it starts to grow, you know, we're I'm gonna, we're going to transition from a group me account into Discord. So, you know, giant group chat with fans just to talk about nerd shit, um, opinions, all that. Uh, but 
also just Patreon in general is a great way to support us. It's a it's a way to give monthly, uh, and it helps us do more live streams, more cool stuff, have cooler people on the show. Realistically, help us. Um, if you don't want to give monthly, totally get it. I barely want to give monthly, and I do it anyways. Uh, but I'm also on the show every week, so I kind of feel like I have to. <laughs> it's an obligation. No, I'm just kidding. Um, kind of. <sighs> we do have our web store. Uh, we've got some cool stuff on there. Uh, also, just like like us on social medias. Like, follow. Tell your friends. That's the biggest thing. Just tell your friends. If this is something that you think that they would like, uh, both from a <clears throat> vulgar, we think we're funny. Uh, we're we, fucking we are funny, funny goddammit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> Uh, or if they're into the the nerd world, I mean, we we try and be a little bit of something for everyone. And even even if like they're into something nerdy, and you're like, nah, I don't think they really like get into that kind of stuff. Yes, we do. Yeah, tell we, them to tell them to follow totally, us. And then tell them to reach yeah, out to us. We totally take suggestions. If you have a a TV show, a movie, comic book series, a video game, a card game anything nerd, just nerdy, nerd nerdy culture that you want us to do we will yeah. fucking go out and get it and do it that's yeah. what we're trying to do here and we will review it we'll talk about it we'll be vulgar as fuck about it and we'll drink while we do it but that's what yeah. we do don't try the, to change me the end goal is that we just want to build a nerd community that is welcoming to everyone as long as you're okay with swearing and open alcohol abuse <laughs> it's not abuse Sorry, alcohol, alcohol opportunities. <laughs> as long as you're a good person and you like nerdy shit, like we're trying to make this a place for you. So, and we're and we're bridging gaps with. For, I mean, I don't know. We haven't done it yet, but I mean, we're we're networking. We have we have friends, Jerry Ma, Ken Newton, you know, yeah, our producer Alan. With you know, some like really we're, awesome independent artists coming up in the yeah. next couple of months. We got some cool stuff coming out. We have some uh, shared segments that are kind of in the planning stages with other more, podcasts. More guests. I mean, we've had guests on this show that are bigger than our show deserves to fucking have. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we are a very small podcast. Almost. That is all, a hand all, drawn. All of our guests are. Yeah. <laughs> That, I, I mean, autographs, pictures, I mean, comic books, autographed comic books from people who are just the best people in the entire world. And part of what we do is, you know, try to amp them up, too. And yeah. they do the same in return for us. Uh, and we love we love everybody. We love all of you, you guys, fans, friends that we meet through this. You know, yeah. let's keep it going. Yeah. And thank you for letting us do this for almost 80 weeks now. Woo. I mean, Wait. seriously. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is episode 77, and we've unfortunately had to skip a couple of weeks for various circumstances. We love you. This has been the All Things Nerd Podcast. <laughs>